Hey guys, uh, welcome to yet another guitar episode on AY Sam Guitar TV. Uh, today our focus is on learning how to play more by RC. Let's get started. Uh, first thing is we need the capo on the fourth fret because we are in the key of we are in the key of B. So by putting the capo on the fourth fret, you get to play the much easier chords. Um, let's start with the verse, the first verse. The first verse doesn't have any set of chords that are played according to the record. So we skip that and we move to the first uh, pre-chorus. Now the first pre-chorus is made up of C, which is fifth string with third finger fifth string fourth string and then the second string so that's our c chord uh, the next chord is our e minor chord which is so i'm using just my second and third finger Second finger, fourth string, third finger, fifth string. That's our E minor chord. The next chord is our D chord. And I have my first finger on the third string. As you can see, I'm not mentioning the fret because it should be visible to you. So uh, I have first finger, third string. Second finger, first string, and then third finger, second string. So my D chord from the fourth string down. Then the next chord is our B minor chord, which I'm bearing the entire second fret. It's my second finger. Then I have the next finger on the second string next finger on the uh, fourth string and then the pinky on the third string so i have my b minor chord so uh let's take a look at the reading we have c which is this just play it once then the e minor chord then the D chord, B minor chord, and then C chord. So that's the sequence. Uh, for some context, that's the part that goes um, right? And this sequence of chord is played twice. So we have C to E minor to D to B minor to C. That's the first time around. Then the second time around, C, E minor, D, B minor, C. So again, for some context, uh, we have So that's the pre chorus. Now we have the chorus, which is C, E minor, G, C. Now we have mentioned every other chord besides the G chord. So let's take a look at that. The G chord is third finger on the sixth string. So I have this. Second finger on the fifth string, second fret relative to the capo. So I have this and this now. Then the pinky goes on the first string. So I have this. And this progression is played twice. So C, 
E minor, G, C. Again, C, E minor, G, C. So, uh, again, for some context, that's the part that goes. Um, sequence goes twice like I just played uh, that's the uh, first chorus now let's check out the second verse you know in the beginning we didn't play anything in the first verse so the second verse has a set of chords and they are E minor G we have talked about those two sets of chords now then we have a D with F sharp in the B. So you just have your normal D chord and then you take your thumb, bring it over the sixth string, second fret relative to the capo, and you have your D over F sharp. Right? Uh, then we move to the next. Let me get my paper. Move to the next chord, which is. Our E minor chord. So the sequence of chord now is E minor, G, D with F sharp in the bass, and then back to E minor. Now uh, this sequence of chord again is played twice so um we have e minor for some context that's the part that goes right then we have g So E minor to G to D with F sharp in the bass to E minor. You repeat the sequence twice. Right? That gives you your second verse. Now your second pre-chorus is exactly what we discussed in the first pre-chorus. The same sequence, so which is C, E minor, D, E minor, C, C, E minor, D, B minor, C. So again, the sequence repeats twice, just like you have in the first uh, pre chorus. Then move to the second chorus, it's exactly the same thing. Your second chorus exactly the same thing as your first chorus, right? Which is C, E minor, G, C. Play twice. C, E minor, G, C. That's your second chorus. Uh, then we have the bridge. For this song, the bridge and the chorus are the same thing. Exactly the same set of chords, repeated the, ex the exact uh, amount of time. So uh, the bridge is also C, E minor, G, C, repeated twice. C, E minor. And it's a bridge, right? So, um, um, let me mention here that if you want to add uh, a little bit of spice to the music, because there's uh, there are some parts where I think in the chorus too, where you have. Um, right? 
right? So after every chord, there's a slap. And I'm doing that slap by using my thumb to eat on the sixth string. And the this side of my palm is resting on the other set of strings too. So um So uh, let's talk about the last chorus or the ending of the song. Uh, this is only part that changes in terms of the repetition. So your last chorus or the ending is still the same set of chords as you have in your previous choruses. However, the repetition is four times instead of twice, instead of two times. So um, the last chorus now is going to be E minor, G, C, second time now, C, E minor, G, C, now, last time, C, So you keep repeating your C, E minor, G, C, until you come to the end of the song. So the end of the song, of course, ends with your C. So C, E minor, G, C, C, E minor. Hey guys, um, thank you so much for watching this video tutorial for learning how to play more by Aussie. Um, if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And while you are doing that, click on the notification bell so that whenever a new video is posted, you are always notified. Thank you so much for watching and um, thank you so much for your support. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye and take care.